Hello everyone, Chloe's the name, crocheting is the game, and today we are going to be testing out how to make your hooks ergonomic. So what is ergonomic? This would be like what would be making your hook better on your wrist, on your elbow, it's a lot of just pain that you might be feeling when you're crocheting, and it all depends on the person and every hook size and um, kind of how your wrist pain is and how your elbow pain is completely depends on your own body. So what I claim works for me may not work for you. The piece I'm going to be testing these hooks out on is my mood blanket. This is how much I have. Um, I'm in October when I'm filming this and I think I'm in March of my mood blanket. So I am super behind. I have all of my moods put down, but I just haven't crocheted them. So I thought that this would be the perfect motivation to get working on this. The hook that I've crocheted that whole portion of the blanket has been with this five and a half. It's just a normal hook you would find online. I got it off Amazon. Um, and it was a gift to me. It came in a crochet kit. And so I just started using this one because the handle looked nice. But there are a lot of different options. This one was on Amazon and I think it was like, I don't know. It was given to me as a gift. But it, I mean, it works pretty good. My wrist it does get tired after a while. So I hope that with the other hacks, it will go by easier. I don't know. High hopes for hacks that come off like TikTok and Pinterest and all of those things. Most crocheters start off with this metal hook. It's just a super cheap, easy alternative to what a normal hook like a clover. Those are the most commonly talked about crochet hook brands. And um, this is just the super duper cheap op option. There is no ergonomic handle. And so I'll be using this with all of the add-ons that everyone has been raving about since they've started talking about it on TikTok. Honestly, I am not claiming that when you're crocheting that the entire reason that your pain is from ergonomic issues, but that is what I personally think it is from my own personal pain. So I have a few different hack options. There is the makeup sponges. There's the We Are Memory Keepers handle. And then there are these biking gloves and a tennis ball, which I think this will be the weirdest. Honestly, I've heard the most people talk about this tennis ball helping their, um, their pain. Sometimes they say that like they have arthritis and it really helps. Um, one that I haven't really heard talked about very often are these gloves that are supposed to really support more of the wrist. They're fingerless gloves, so I don't really know how well these will work, but I got them just in case, and I got them in pink. The makeup sponges, I just, I feel like they might be too soft, and I feel like the squish might be a little weird, but I also think that the tennis ball, it's going to be too awkward and bulky. And then... These ones, I just feel like will feel like a normal extra grip. So let's start with the makeup sponges and then go from there. I'm going to be super realistic here. The texture of these are so weird. Like I know that women that do their makeup every day and do the full coverage makeup, it, you guys look so good by the way. I am not like throwing you guys off in any way, but I, I only do mascara and so when touching these, it's so odd to me, but I bet to anyone who does their makeup all of the time, this wouldn't affect them at all. In the TikTok videos, they made this super easy to look like you can just like poke it through and it sends it all the way straight through. So let's hope it's that easy. I feel like it's kind of going through. <gasps> oh, okay. Okay, let's start crocheting. Okay, I already like have lost control of my crochet hook. It just feels really bulky and really odd. So I don't know. I feel like if I wasn't, you know, trying to stay in frame and everything, it might be a little easier, but like 
It's so odd. Oh, okay. Now that I'm kind of getting more into the crochet, it's kind of a little odd. It's it's very odd. <laughs> Realistically, this is super odd. Coming from uh, the crochet hook that I showed you guys earlier, this one, I know that it will take some getting used to, but I feel like this could actually be on to something. Like the, I mean, obviously I'm not feeling any wrist pain right now, but it is also the start of the video. I'm going to do two rows of this and see how I feel. But I think for the most part, it's pretty good. Other than the occasional, like the sponge catches on to the rest of the blanket and I have to kind of yank up. So I am now starting on the second row of using this beauty blender crochet hook hack and I started to get some pain in my elbow which is where I normally get pain and I found that I was holding like up here in crocheting when I should have been holding like down here and that sounds super obvious but like it's super awkward and it's so different and so when I'm crocheting and I'm like wrapping my hand around this my instant, like, see, I can't even get it through. My instant reaction is to move, like, all the way up here. I really like the feeling of the Beauty Blenders, and I will probably use this again. So I think I'm going to move it up to a four star. So with that first one just being all right, I mean, it wasn't great, but it wasn't horrible. I think we should move on to the next crochet hack. Next is the tennis ball. This one was kind of steeper in the price than what the beauty blenders would be. So just keep that in mind because there is a risk that it won't work for you even if it does work for me. Well, I've heard mixed emotions. I've heard on TikTok that they're super easy to get on and it's super easy to just push it through and that's it. But when I watched um, Ellie Rose Crochet, formerly uh, Le Petit Saint Crochet, she said that it was very hard to get it on and she had to use a um, X-Acto knife or have her son come in and help. So I'm not sure how I'll do with this. I'm not exactly a muscly, strong person. <laughs> but I feel like this one will be worse than the Beauty Blenders. And I say this like with all the kindness in my heart, but these look huge. I mean, my hands are really small. So if you have larger hands than mine, it might work. So I am excited, but I have a feeling that these aren't going to work out. I did, although here, that these will open really, really well and like sound really satisfying. So let's see. That scared the actual life out of me. <laughs> it took me everything in my power to keep it together. I can tell you that the loudness of opening these was not that loud in the TikTok videos. They made it sound so satisfying. The smell is kind of intense, so keep that in mind when you're buying these. Um, the smell is... Ooh is is really bad i'm gonna be honest but i i just took the beauty blenders off of my hook so that i could put it through the tennis ball but these beauty blenders can totally be usable if you don't end up liking the crochet hook like they just have a small gap pray for me to have the strength to be able to get this hook through this tennis ball without my <laughs> crochet hook snapping this just feels so dangerous Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to get this through. Let me go get a knife. I wish that I would have gotten that on camera. <laughs> so I sliced a hole in the top of this right here. And <laughs> I didn't know that there was pressure inside of these tennis balls. And it made like the sound almost similar to what the actual package made. 
and it scared me like my heart is still racing from it but let's see if this slice in it will make it easier oh i swear every video i film i will show you how weak i am <laughs> if you are young don't do this on your own <laughs> have a adult do it now we just push it down she had it about like halfway through mine's kind of not even but i'm sure it's okay i don't know she didn't really like sit there and think about it being completely centered so i think this will work this already feels so weird just to touch so i have no idea what it's going to be like when i'm actually crocheting i guess we'll see so this is the second hack let's see how these first few stitches go so here we go oh that's so weird that is so odd but i kind of i kind of like it it definitely makes me get my whole arm into it which i think is good so that i'm not just using my wrist joint or my elbow joint the texture kind of irks me <laughs> like it rubs on my uh pinky really odd i mean i'm crocheting fairly quickly the stitches look nice i don't know i'm really mixed feelings about it crocheting with this tennis ball kind of feels like crocheting with like a cake pop and i just don't know how I feel about it. I, it just feels silly. Hello, I'm back. Um, I went on a little break and did some other videos and now I'm back to this one. It's been probably about a week or so. Um, so basically I haven't worked on that blanket in a long time, so I need to get back to it. Um, I left off on the tennis ball, but I didn't do the second row of it. So I'm going to do the second row of it and then I'm going to rate it and then we can move on to the I believe it's the last two items. This blanket is kind of hard to like tote around. I have it like hung up on my wall with all of the colors up above it. It's kind of difficult to just like tote around everywhere. It's huge. I mean the blankets and it'll be great once it's done, but I'm so many months behind because I just, I wrote down all of my emotions and everything. I just, for some reason, just got super behind with everything else I was working on. I don't know. I just broke my stitch marker. Oh. So I'm about halfway through this row and I realized that I just like am really loving this. I know it's like super odd and it looks so, I don't know, I wouldn't even call it dumb. It just looks so unusual, but I really enjoy crocheting with it and I, feel like it really makes my rows go by fast. And on top of that, it doesn't hurt my wrist, barely hurts my elbow, everything hurts my elbow. So that's a real feat in itself. I can't even just sit here and talk to you guys with this in my hand because I just want to crochet, but I really enjoy it and I would recommend it. Just finish the row. And I really like the tennis ball crochet hook. So I think that it's a great idea Whoever came up with it, you're a genius. Uh, I think that the only thing that I have a problem with, and this is literally just me being nitpicky, I will definitely be using this to crochet the rest of my blanket after we get through the other two um, ergonomic tools that we have. But this, I would rate a 4.5 out of 5, only because the texture of the tennis ball kind of gives me the ick. <laughs> it's like super dramatic, I know. but. It's true. It does give me a little bit of an ick. Just, I don't know. It's just a little scratchy. But you can wrap this in tape or something like fabric and hot glue it on or something. And this would be like a 10 out of 10 for me. Five out of five, everything. Like this would be the hook that I'd be using for the rest of my life. It'd put Clover to shame. <laughs> okay? Clover to shame. Um, but realistically, I think that it's a great idea. and. There, this was super cheap. These tennis balls were really cheap off Amazon and I'm gonna have a link to everything. So if you guys wanna do that, you wanna buy these, then you totally can. You don't have to use my link. I just, I'm putting it there so it's easier. Let's move on to the next item, which is the casual normal grips. You guys are probably gonna be like, this is so boring, get on with it. But I had someone gift this these to me 
It's the Comfort Craft. They're used, it says it's a comfort grip and there's three pieces in it. It says it has easy on and off opening, a cushioned grip, and it gives any compatible size tool a comfortable grip. Let's see, let's bust into this thing. That was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, okay, so. Bye, tennis ball. Oh, oh got it. It does have a kind of large slit in the back, so you can just pop your tool right in and start working. So these, this uh, packaging, at least, had a, a pencil, a Sharpie, and an X-Acto knife. Um, mine's a crochet hook, obviously. So I assume that it would still be the same, except it does feel like a little bit loose already, like it could just pop out. I do like, though, how there's like these waves. So I can put my hand like, A disclaimer, I have no idea if I'm halfway through this row or not, but I also just want to point out that as I was putting on my microphone, the handle fell off of my crochet hook onto the ground. So let me get that real quick. Just had to make things difficult because it knows what I'm going to rate it. So I'm halfway through the row. I'm still going to finish it. I'm not doing the second row with this thing, though. I'm not doing it. You can't put me through that torture. To the person who got this for me, Thank you. I love you. Anyways, <laughs> back to the point. Um, I don't think that we fully realized that this was not made for crochet hooks and how they're meant to be used. They're meant for pencils, obviously, like we talked about before. Uh, the pencil goes in, and this isn't really a pencil that they suggest, but it is super tight on this pencil, and it works well. You can write and everything like that. But on my crochet hook, it's really loose. And it twists around and around and around until it comes off the end. I'm not going to give it a zero because I do like the, the ridges here. Um, I don't really love the texture. Like I said, I'm not really fond of like spongy textures. So that's not my favorite. But I'm not going to give it a zero. I'm going to give it a one out of five star. I don't even have to finish the row to know what I'm going to give it. So I'm going to finish the row with this thing. Don't even worry. But when we get back, we are going to be testing out sports gloves. That was the longest row of my life. I have nothing more to say. And this is one star. And the only reason I'm giving it one star is because it has the ridges. It's not good for crochet, but I definitely feel like it would be good for drawing or sort of other things with like X-Acto knives and pencils and pens and everything like that, but not for crochet. So last, but certainly not least, is the uh, motor, not motorcycle, what? Biking gloves, sports gloves. It says that they're for weightlifting, cycling. Um, and so you'll just put them on and they should have support on the wrist and the knuckles. Did you notice how I got the pink ones? They're kind of cute. Oh, they're tight. Okay. Obviously they're tight. Okay. Okay. That's definitely very like bungee. I probably should have taken my ring off. It's okay. Oh yeah. My cloud is stuck. Someone edit me in like the cover of Vogue, Vogue or something. These feel really super weird in my thing, like my pinky. It's only my pinkies, but they feel a little constricted, a little tight. So I don't know. Uh, but my wrist, wrists feel good and my mobility is still there. So I'm going to use the bare metal hook for no biasness. There is no ergonomic to it. And I guess we'll, ooh, I can barely get a grip on it, but I can. So. We'll still do it, but I'll be doing two rows and I'll get back with you after around the first row ish. Okay, so that was that. I really thought that I would like these and I just, I don't think that I do. I really don't. I, when I had my hand around the crochet hook, right here on my thumb was in so much pain because there's so much padding 
that I couldn't fully close my hand around the crochet hook. So I had to squeeze tighter and it just, it didn't feel good at all. I'm gonna rate these a two out of five stars. I know, and it's so low and I feel a little bad about it, but realistically, I don't know that I could rate it any higher. Maybe it's because I didn't get the compression ones, like the pieces, just flat pieces of fabric, and instead I got like biking and powerlifting gloves. So let me gather all of the things together and we can do a final overview of all of the ratings and what I liked and what I didn't like about each product. So I have all of my stuff together and we can finally get the final verdict on everything that looked good, bad, and in between. Starting with worst, we're going to go with Sadly, the Comfort Craft Grip. Really, I thought that this would be a really great thing just because, I don't know, they sold it at craft stores and it just seemed interesting and like it would work. It's thick enough and it had the ridges, but that was really the only thing is that it was thick and it had ridges. The crochet hook popped out really easy. Uh, it spun around and it fell off the end and so it made it really hard to crochet with. Two stars was the, were these gloves. So the problem that I had with these gloves was there was too much padding in here. The like texture on these gloves is meant for like tension and friction and it caught on my yarn and would just tug. They got a three out of five stars. These things were great. They're so soft and they worked really good even though they were kind of separate. I couldn't fully grip on there and I did have to squeeze some. It just, and it really just felt odd, but so did the tennis ball. So what can I really say about that? And if you don't like it in the end, look how small the holes are. They're so small that even if you don't like it, you can just use this as a beauty blender afterwards. Everything was good with it. Just, it was just good. There was no excellence to it. It didn't make me excited to crochet, but it did make crocheting the row just a little bit faster. Finally, coming in in first place is the tennis ball. I really loved this tennis ball. It made it so fun to crochet and it was so different from everything else. I will be using this to finish my blanket because it did work really good ergonomic wise. Let me know in the comments what you guys want me to do next. I think that all of these are great options and I think that all of you guys should try it and get your own opinion. And if you do, tag me in the video or comment underneath what you think about each of these. If you've already tried them, let me know what you want to see next from me and in my future videos, I will definitely try to make that happen. So remember to hit the button that looks like this, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.